In today's Madden 21 breakdown, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite new formations to use in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if you've never been to my channel before, my channel is all about helping you get better at Madden 21. Now I learn as much as I possibly can and put a ton of energy into studying this game so that I can give you the most up to date and accurate and best tips in the community. And so what I want to encourage you to do is if you're looking to get better at Madden, we upload four tip videos every single day right here on our YouTube channel. Uh, one at 2 o'clock, one at 4 o'clock, one at 6 o'clock, one at 8 o'clock. And then we also live stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if that's something that interests you, if you want to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. Now, for those of you that don't know, we just released a New England Patriots offensive ebook. Now, this ebook features a ton of material, but one of the formations that we talk about in it is the Gun Y Off Trips Pats. It's also known as the U Trips formation. And there's a couple of different things that I want to talk about today. And uh, I want to talk about it in terms of this play concept known as Levels Sale. Now, I want to show you this. This is from our A Slot Offset. But if you take a look at this play, Levels Sale, Essentially what levels con a concept levels is, is when you have a deep dig route um, from the inside receiver followed by a short little dig route, short little baby in route um, from the outside receiver. That's kind of the concept uh, of levels. It actually originated flipped, but the Indianapolis Colts like to use it um, like that. So uh, anyways, basically what I want to show you is a way that you can kind of recreate that levels concept within this Y off trips pads play and really give you just a simple yard gainer. This isn't a one play touchdown. It's it's not necessarily a uh, a super glitchy play. But what I like about it is it's a very simple play, and it's very very difficult to defend, especially if you have receivers that have decent route running. If they have over ninety short route running, medium and deep. Like if you're playing mutt, this is a really really good little offensive um, scheme to be able to use. Now, the play we're going to use to talk about today uh, from this is the play Scat. Now, the only thing that you need to have on your roster is you need a tight end apprentice ability to be able to run this. If you don't have a tight end apprentice, then you can actually just have a route master or something like that. But it works best when you have a tight end apprentice ability. And basically, all we're going to do, and if you don't have tight end apprentice, you could just put him on an out route and it'll work very similarly but what we're going to do uh, with our tight end here, and what I want to do is I just want to back the ball up. And as a general rule, when you're running trips, you want to run your trips to the wide side of the field. That's kind of uh, a general rule of thumb from, from this formation. Now, in my opinion, you can kind of still get away with running. There's actually some setups that are really good on the short side of the field. But for this video, we're going to keep it on the wide side of the field. So on the left hash mark, if you're on the right hash mark, all you got to do is simply flip the formation. Now, all we're going to do uh, with this, you see this little dig route right here, this little baby in route to Mike Evans. This is kind of the route that we're going to highlight or talk about a little bit uh, more. But basically, we're going to take the tight end, we're going to put him on a corner route, and we're going to smart route that corner route so it goes a little bit deeper. From there, all we're going to do, and I accidentally motioned Mike Evans over, we're actually going to motion over uh, Scotty Miller. So we're going to motion Scotty Miller across, and then with that tailback, you can leave him on his route if you want to. I actually really like to just put him on a simple shoot flat route right there, and you're going to see something like this little concept. Now, at the snap of the ball, what you're going to notice is against two man under, this route's going to get inside separation. You see he gets off the jam, and he's able to kind of work his way inside for a simple little quick read against two man under. Now, what I like about this is this also is going to work against press um, coverage, but the, the coverage being uh, shaded off coverage, this is going to work just fine uh, against that as well. So, again, you get this little motion snap on this post, but now what you'll see is, again, this is going to come underneath and just get a simple yard gainer against man to man Now, I'm telling you right now, uh, I have ran this play. I think, I've, I, think I am, like, at this point, 6-0 in weekend league. Um, with just running this one this one little play concept right here. Now, obviously, 6-0 is not that big of a deal, but what I wanted to just express is this this does work online. It does work well, and it does work, especially if you have a good receiver out there, to be able to get open on this little baby in route. Now, what you're going to see from this is this is going to start to open up, and their user is going to have to start coming over to this right side of the screen. So if the user is on the right side of the screen, what that's going to leave open is it's going to leave this backside um, – you see here you can throw this little corner route as well with a low pass. This is a very easy throw in rhythm. 
if they're if they're you know maybe a drop in an underneath zone or whatever to, to cover that then you know you might have something like this so what they might do is they might start to overcommit to stop this little dig route to mike evans once they start doing that what you'll see is you'll see that user go to the right you see that right there and all you're going to do is you're going to throw this backside post route to scotty miller which as you can see is going to be able to get very good separation against the man coverage now, how does this do against the meta man to man coverage? Something like this right here. They're only going to send two people. They got two purple zones shaded at 20 yards. How does this basically fare against something like that? What you're going to notice about this dig route is this dig route is very consistent. You see he gets that instant win animation, and he's able to cut right in the middle of formation very, very nicely uh, for this play. So on that level, we're good. That route's still going to work exactly as, it, as you want it to work. And it might even work a little bit better against the meta man to man coverage because you're going to have time in the pocket to be able to allow it to work and uh, itself open. Now, what about that backside uh, post? That backside post um, is shallow enough that it's going to come underneath and it's going to get a really good positioning against the, uh, the man to man coverage as well in that situation. So basically, you're going to be able to do multiple different things here uh, as far as it pertains to this meta man-to-man -man coverage. And you're also going to be able to do a lot against zone coverage, which we'll go over zone coverage here in just a second. But I do want to show you this route to uh, this route to Chris Godwin. You'll see if you just pass this to the inside, you see he's going to hook up and get really nice separation against man-to-man -man coverage as well. Um, and then, of course, because, because of the way... Um, you don't have a flat route on the on the right side of the screen um, And so you might be thinking that the purple zone will be able to play the in route much much more effectively and unfortunately I accidentally um, Accidentally motion the wrong guy over so we'll, we'll, we'll fix that for you really quickly here But uh, but basically what we're gonna do and what you'll notice is because this dig route is coming from the outside receiver It's not coming from the slot receiver, right? So what that's gonna mean for your offense obviously you're still gonna have all this stuff on this left side of the field but as you'll notice, this out is going to jump. You see how he jumps out to that, that dig route? He's not going to cover the tight end. Tight end is going to be wide open. So you have that read as well against man-to-man -man coverage. So pretty much every route works against man-to-man, -man, um, with the exception of the running back. But the running back does okay. Uh, and let me show you why he does okay against man-to-man -man coverage. The reason he does okay is because of the simple motion snap to Scotty Miller. This is going to give him a numbers advantage. And so when he cuts to the outside, you'll see he'll get that little separation right there and be able to work up for about five yards. Um, now, let's go over zone coverage. First and foremost, this concept is, as a general rule, is designed to beat cover two. Cover two is gonna have a little bit difficult of a time with this. Um, I honestly prefer running this against cover two, but what you'll notice on this right-hand side is what should happen is the tight end should pull the zones high and you should basically be able to throw that little in route for a quick four, a quick five, a quick six, and you'll be surprised at how open this route will be. Uh, I truly, uh, I, I'm telling you, man, this 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 route right here to this right side, this dig, um, is so open all the time. And as you can see, it's just a yard gainer. It's a power sweep. It's levels. It's simple. It's one of my favorite concepts in Madden history. And I've basically ran some variants of it every single year up until this year. And I'm excited to kind of get back into running some of this stuff. Now, what you'll see here for the, as far as the tight end, you see how far he brings that corner in. You, see, you notice that right there? You actually have a window against cover two because of because of how far that route, um, because of, the, again, the depth, the drops, the spacing of the U-trips, which is so powerful. Um, but what you'll notice here on that right-hand side is he's going to pull that cloud flat with him pretty good ways, and you can throw that corner route right over the top of the cloud flat as long as you hard right pass lead it and of course as long as it's running to the wide side of the field what you'll notice is if i tried to do the same thing um, to the left side it wouldn't work because the spacing is not exactly the same so against cover two obviously one of the things that they're going to try to do um, is they're going to try to do something like this where they take a hard flat approach they're playing underneath coverage on their yellow zones they're playing underneath coverage on their flat zones and what you'll notice about this dig route is there is still a window to throw it that is what i believe makes this play so powerful is because against cover three against cover two it doesn't really matter you're going to find that there's a pretty much an open door 
for you to be able to throw this little dig to Mike Evans over and over and over again. You'll see if you wait a little bit, he's going to come underneath the yellow zones, and you're going to essentially pass him open once he gets an open grass and open space. The other thing is this little snag little button hook route right on the left side is going to do a good job of holding the left side zones, and it's going to open up space for you to be able to throw the ball inside of the, uh, the middle of the field. Obviously, if they shade coverage down, your corner route is going to be even more open. As you can see, you've now opened up more space, and it's taking uh, more defenders to cover that little baby dig route. The next thing I want to show you against cover three, and this is primarily if they try to go and user this right side dig, which is what they will ultimately start trying to do. You'll notice this backside post is going to be wide open against cover two. Now, you got to throw this at the right time, and I actually recommend if you're on first and ten, go ahead and smart routing that post so that it goes a little bit deeper uh, just to kind of open up a little bit more space and just help a little bit with the spacing um, of the entire play. What you'll see here, once he gets out here, he's going to come, and basically this is a pass lead up. You want to make sure you're pass leading up against that cover two zone, and he's going to go right into a nice little pocket against the cover two. Cover two, in my opinion, is going to do the best, but what I want to do is I want to show you the rest of the zone coverages that you're going to face. So this is a simple cover three coverage, and what you'll notice, this is actually cover three with purple zones, so they're going to drop back even more, and as you can see, this thing is wide open against cover three. I mean, you could literally, um, I mean, the quarterback could almost run out there and hand him the ball himself uh, if they're playing just kind of a basic cover three. Now, we are going to go over Mabel coverage just because I want to show you the difference. And Mabel coverage actually doesn't do too bad against this, but um, you're still going to be able to throw a lot of different things. Now, obviously, you can wait a little bit as well. The longer you wait to throw this from a cover three perspective, um, in my opinion, the more that's going to bite down. The big thing that you have going for you with this play is a lot of times the cover three, the routes that are going to come underneath, like the hook curls and things like that that can stop it, they're going to be tied up by that tight end. And so he's not in that window. He's not in that space. And so he's not going to be – they're not really going to think about him. The other thing that's really, really nice about this as far as it pertains against cover three is if they shade underneath or if they try to play hard flats or if they try to play underneath ball against you to try to take this away, what you'll see is this corner route is going to come open right in that little pocket. You're going to be able to low pass that against any cover three zone. Um, the next thing I want to show you is the back side of this formation. The back side of this formation um, is really uh, probably even more equipped to beat cover three uh, than the left side. But what you'll notice here is if they do run cover three and they don't hard flat, you can easily take that quick route to the back right out of the backfield for an easy uh, 10 to 15 yards. And what that's going to do um, is that's going to force them to consistently have to hard flat defenders, you know, at least respect that flat route. And then that's going to open up this post route right over the middle of the field as you can see right there if they come down on the dig then you're going to have the post right over the top of it and it's going to be very very um, effective for your offense now like i said this is simply designed to be a yard gaining play it's nothing more nothing less and so if they try to go ahead and take that post right away uh, what you'll notice here is this route to chris godwin now right there i think that was a spy that ultimately ended up getting me um, unfortunately i rolled out but what you'll see is what they'll start to do uh, is they will start to go to something like this, right? Mabel coverage. We have all heard of Mabel coverage, but this is Mabel coverage um, at a high level because you have a lot of different zones that you can put on the field. What you'll notice is as this play pertains to Mabel coverage, this little, uh, little scat, little hook route is going to be very, very effective. The other thing is, again, remember, both routes are going into the middle of the field, which means they're going to be opening up, again, just more space for you to throw. These corner routes and these little flat routes are going to pull the outside zones, and it's going to leave a lot of space for you to throw this post, snag, or the dig on the backside. As you can see right here, this dig is going to come right over and come wide open against man, or I'm, I'm sorry, against Mabel coverage on that right-hand side of the screen. And then one more thing I wanted to show you before we take off here is Mabel coverage once again, and I want to show you how this defends the post route on the left side of the screen. And what you'll notice, um, you'll also be able to hit that corner route to that tight end right, uh, right in that little pocket. But as you can see here, this is wide open. I mean, we you are you are um, in a whole other category in terms of openness, uh, as you can see within this offense. So again, this is not a one play touchdown. But in my opinion, this is one of my favorite plays. It's probably one of my top five plays in Madden NFL 21 in terms of concept and passing ability. And what you'll see is against cover four, you're able to beat the cover four with that post. So what this is going to do is 
it's really going to put a lot of stress on your opponent's user and because these are coming from opposite ends of the field opposite sides this is going to work really really well together and in conjunction as you can see this post drop comes open right at that right time and you're able to hit this this by far guys is my favorite passing concept in the game right now because it takes me back to my roots the power of the levels concept now really quickly before we take off i just want to encourage you if you have not picked up the new england patriots ebook yet it is on sale it is in the description there's a link to take you uh, where you can pick it up in the description but one of the other things i wanted to tell you before we take off is let's say that you're not sold on this yet and you would like a little bit deeper of a dive into it maybe a little bit more of a sample we have created a sample uh, video, two sample videos for you out of the New England Patriots ebook. These are basically formations that are also broken down in the ebook, but we've given to them to you for free just to show you what this ebook can do. And if you want to pick up those ebooks, or I'm sorry, if you want to pick up those sample formations, go ahead and just shoot me a text message. My number is 812 216 three six four four we've had a lot of great reviews on the new england patriots ebook a lot of people have been very impressed with number one the depth but also the simplicity and the ability that even though it's a lot of material it's still something that you can easily pick up learn it in a day and you can run it and be very very effective with it a lot of people have been struggling on offense struggling to beat some of the cover three deep half and cover three inverts and man coverage metas and one step ahead and with the new blitzings that have been coming out a lot of people have um, essentially needed some help on offense and this ebook has done that for them they have taken their offense to a whole nother level being able to win money games being able to win cfms being able to consistently rank in the top 100 in weekend league as a result of this ebook so I would highly encourage you, if you haven't picked this up yet, go ahead and pick this ebook up today. You won't regret it. It's one of my favorite formations and one of my favorite um, playbooks in Madden history. And I felt like this time what we did and what we've been able to do with this ebook is truly break down every single thing you need to possibly know from the New England Patriots ebook. So go ahead and pick that up. That link is in the description. If you want that sample video, shoot me a text message. And our next video is going to go live at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern time today. We'll have another one at 6 and then another one at 8. And we will be streaming tonight with this exact ebook. If you want to see how it fares um, in Weekend League in some of those contexts, go ahead and come by the stream, hang out, say what's up. We'd love to connect and answer any Madden questions you might have. We'll be streaming at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time uh, tonight. Thanks for your time, guys. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed the breakdown.